Hello guys, okay, hello guys, uh, before I begin, before I begin because I'm just doing a, this is a random video, mm. for everybody on Tumblr that wanted me to have John, John Tron, um, on, uh, Malkoff, I'm sorry, I couldn't get him, I couldn't get him, man, I mean, I could try contacting him through his Facebook, but people, you gotta understand, I'm like, I mean, thanks to you guys, I'm like, semi, semi, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. You know, I'm still in small fry because I did have a lot of subscribers back in the day, but, you know, ever since the whole YouTube glitch thing, and for some people's accounts, you know, I've gotten back to the bottom, bottom of the heat, you know? He used to have a lot of freaking subscribers, you know? And now it's all gone. You know, I've been getting them back slowly and slowly and surely and all that other crap. Oh, man, it, it was it was beautiful because I had so many people that liked my videos that much. Now, for those of you that say, oh, I make little, I make little pointless videos and they don't do anything, uh, to them, I like to say, uh, F you, you know which finger I'm holding up. If I was right near you, you know which finger I'm holding up. Because I, because my, my humor, my comedy, for, for some of my videos, they do help people. They do make them laugh. Whether, whether or not you see that or not is, well, up to you, but I do. But now, sorry guys, I had to blow up some steam from yesterday. And you're probably wondering who did, who said that? Just a freaking deviant art chick that doesn't know her, her freaking, her freaking butthole from her head. It from it doesn't know her freaking, doesn't know a hole in the ground. Doesn't know her freaking butt from a hole in the ground. Just, just say it. And oh yeah, what's really, what's really even, what's more pathetic, is that she calls this one other deviant artist master, and they're not like role playing or anything. She calls that guy master, master. It's, it's really quite stupid. Call him master. That's just uh, oh, uh, and they called me the, and she called me the pathetic one. <laughs> Anyways. Sorry guys, I'm just blowing off a little steam from yesterday, and let's just say, ugh, I let, I let the freaking, I let that shit get to me, and I'm not gonna let it, I'm not gonna let it happen to me again. Because every, you know, when I think about it, I have a great life. I have you guys. I have my family. I have, I have my dogs. You know, I have a, I have a great life, and I shouldn't freaking be. I shouldn't be like, oh, because, you know, for a minute, they were like, what if I do, I was like, what if I do with my life, I had like a little thought to cross my head, I was like, and then I remembered, no, I do it for you guys, I do it for you, I do it for me, and I do it for you guys, but mostly for you guys, you know, so, anyways, back, back on topic, hey guys, I say go, I say, if you want to feel nostalgic today, Go to friggin' uh, Tsunami Aftermath. Go to Tsunami Aftermath. Uh, wait until they do their cartoon, cartoon lineup. And, yeah, it was, it's Friday, so Cartoon, Cartoon Fridays. I know it's not new, but, it, you know, it's, it's cool. You know, if you want to feel like, if you want to feel like the good old days where friggin' when it was cartoon, where every Saturday you turn, you go home from school and You'd, you'd sit down, watch a little tsunami, wait, and then Cartoon Cartoon Fridays would be on. Uh, that would, when I was when I was in school, when I was in when I was in grade school, that was like my highlight of my week right there. I was like, okay, okay, I gotta get through the weekend. I gotta get to the gotta get through the weekend. Oh yes, Cartoon Cartoon Fridays. <laughs> so. So yeah, I would have, I would um, literally be so happy on the on when it was Friday, 
because, um, and yeah, you know, pretty much, I would watch um, back when kids do, when back when the WB was still the WB and not CW. We, my friends, um, you know, they would always play their, you know, WB would always play the afternoon show, which would probably be like, you know, just stuff they show in the afternoon, but fret, but, you know, they had something called Friday Days, which was like a block, uh, on Saturdays when you, you know, in the afternoon, and they'd show new cartoons, um, on Saturday and show some more new cartoons on Saturday on, on uh, they show some cartoons on Friday and then they show more new cartoons on Saturday I love I love that so much and I wish a lot of I wish a lot of other networks did this you know and they kind of do but uh, I'm not counting Disney I'm sorry ever since ever since um Ever since, you know, I had to spend the summer in a hotel, in a hotel, and all they had was, like, all they had was, like, Disney Channel and Nickelodeon. I mean, thank God I had my freaking Alienware laptop so I actually could watch some Netflix or Neon Alley, but I didn't find out I could watch Neon Alley on my computer until later, later that summer. Um... Thank God I had my freaking laptop with me. Um, so yeah, just because everybody kept watching it, um, while we were, while I had to, you know, basically stay there, um, you know, while, while, uh, certain things were getting fixed and stuff, um, basically, so basically I, um, you know, basically they kept playing, um, Disney Channel over and over again. At first, I didn't mind, but they kept playing the same episodes over and over and over and over. Excuse me, I probably gotta let the dogs out. And don't get me wrong, I love, I used to love Disney Channel, but they kept playing their same old shows over and over and over and over and over again. It was, it was horrible. And I was there like the whole summer. It, it was just horrible. I can't tell you why I was at the hotel for the whole summer, but it was, it was, let's just say, it's not like I wanted to be there all summer. Yo, guys, that's the whole reason. I had plans uh, for, you know, videos I was going to do this last summer, and I didn't have, you know, and thanks to that place being so f noisy, yeah. I do a little editing censoring there. See, but, say, but thanks to it being so noisy, I didn't have a chance to do a lot of videos or at all because it's a, you know it's a lot of hard work because everybody you know because because I had to share a room with uh, my little brother and my little cousin. You know, and they they are loud. So I had plans to do that, but I digress. The thing is that Disney Channel used to be fun, but now it's like, oh, shake it up, oh, Jesse, oh, this other thing. And the only, the only light at the end of that tunnel was the Mickey Mouse cartoons for me, because I like the short, I like the Mickey Mouse shorts because they're actually fun to watch. It. Harken back to a time where Disney Channel wasn't all about the live action shows. Though they did have a few live action shows here and there, it wasn't as bad as this. It's like every time, you know, Disney always has to appeal to the teen demographic. Oh, Disney must appeal to teens and demographic. You know how they say Disney must keep current and they're appealing to the latest audiences of Disney Channel. How it appeal to us old, older, the, the older crowd that still remembers what you guys used to be? I mean, yeah, you guys had, they had like a lot of stuff, but they also had like, they also had like their old Disney cartoons. They had Disney's Aladdin, they had Timon and Pumbaa, you know? They don't even do those anymore. They don't even, you know, those shows don't even have a place anymore since... Disney XD uh, 
took over their channel and it became Disney XD. It should have stayed Toon Disney and then they could have had Disney XD uh, as another separate channel. And what really takes me off is that, you know, Toon Disney could still st still could have been around. I mean, Boomerang's still around and they they freaking they freaking put all the 90s cartoons there, but they couldn't keep Toon Disney, man. That that's the one thing I really get mad at. You know, about about freaking um Disney in general. They always have to they have to pander to the freaking teen demographic and alienate they, you know, Disney has to pander to the teen demographic when it comes to, like, their channels. But they, you know, and, pro and sometimes the little kids, but mostly, like, preschool shelf stuff. But I would like for someone to give give a kid and show a kid, show a kid from, show, show a little kid from this generation, Darkwing Duck. Or show a kid Chippendale Rescue Rangers, or something, you know? And trust me, I got the box set. Though the first disc is still stuck in my laptop. I really gotta fit, I really gotta get that thing out. When I get the chance, or I need to, like, either call somebody or get it out myself. But, uh, yeah. Let's just say that was a stupid mistake I did, because I thought, you know, my, my laptop would play it, but oh no, it's stuck in there. It's like the first disc. I, I'm thinking of just get buying me another one then. I'm just thinking of buying me another one. It was given to me like a Christmas gift, but I'm thinking of buying me another one at least. Yeah. So. Yeah, man. Anyways. Anyways, I'd like to show a kid a dark, you know, a dark King duck cartoon or, or, or DuckTales or Tailspin or even some of the other stuff that came later. Like jungle, like jungle cubs. I mean, that was good. You know, see, it's like this. It's like when it comes to their channels, now, it's just all the teen stuff that you know only teens are into. Like the only you know, dog go blog is kind of. Uh, I guess it's okay. I mean, it's not. It's not like great, but it's all. Right. It's all right. But I've seen a show that did it a lot better, and it was on Nick, and it was called the the A Hundred Deeds of Eddie McDowell. Oh, kiddies, you you miss out, you miss out on a lot of stuff because you weren't born when I was you weren't born when I was born, so you didn't grow up and see the stuff that I seen TV wise. I'm not talking about like uh, life wise. But TV wise, you guys are missing out because I was born in the, I was born in a time where Disney actually cared about their freaking shows. They weren't pandering to, they weren't pandering to just teens. They were pandering. They were freaking making shows for everybody, so everybody could enjoy. Not just one group of, just not one demographic. It was all demographics, you know. My, d my dad and I, we still watch, you know, you know, when, you know, me and, you know, dad still, my dad still remembers us watching Dark Queen Duck and all this other stuff, and, and I miss some of the old cartoons of y'all, and some, some made their way back into, back into their networks of origin, but others are still kind of like, eh, we're not gonna show it. Though, again, I really gotta talk about, I gotta make a separate video about Megas, because, oh, who knows, um, they're saying that Megas might be coming back, uh, because of the, you know, the same, um, the same, uh, people that, uh, made Metalocalypse, um, wanna make a new Megas cartoon, I'm like, yes! Freaking the same the same studio wants to make a new Megas cartoon. I'm like, yes, make Megas, man. Steve Blum is still around. I don't know if Coop's voice actor is still around, but Steve Blum is totally around, so he can totally play Jamie. I swear, guys. If I hope 
whatever it, whatever it is Megas related, I hope it's something cool. I either I either hope it's a new series or a movie. Trust me, man. I am not picky at this point because when I played Fusion Fall, I saw like when you go into the future, I saw Megas covered covered in slime. Like, it was like Nickelodeon's thing, but it was a Cartoon Network thing. And I was like, I looked at it, I looked at it, I was at the junkyard, because, you know, Fusion Fall is pretty cool, too, because it was the, I guess, it was the first one that actually did the major crossover. I think that is what's giving the uh, IDW their, their inspiration to make a comic book that has all the characters all the Cartoon Network characters in in this thing and I'm and I'm thinking of getting I'm thinking of just getting me a subscription to IDW so I can freaking read those comics man it looks that good and, and another thing the Samurai Jack comics I may get because again we never had an ending to Samurai Jack and it really would be so cool if I could get those Samurai Jack comics. I mean, sure, they probably don't have an ending yet, but they would get, they'll get to it. And I like that. You know, I want to freak and, and guys, and, uh, you know, the Butch Hartman, I want there to be a Danny Phantom live action movie. You did the same thing, Fairly odd appearance. It didn't need a it didn't need a live action sequel. Make a live action Danny Phantom movie, dude. You need to. That's the one thing you could do, and it would look so awesome. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. But uh, you know, I'm just rambling on about cartoon, <laughs> about soon Saturday morning blocks. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to kind of say I'm still going to... YouTube can't stop me. I'm still going to try and do Saturday afternoon even if it kills me. I just gotta... I gotta remember what cartoons I could show without it being... Without it being horrible. And the thing is, what YouTube doesn't realize is that I'm using, like, videos from other people that upload these cartoons. You know? I'm doing that. So... So there's that. Anyways, so let me let me talk to you guys for a minute. Like I've been talking to you. Please, please sign the sober petitions. You need to. I mean, I won't be able to do the stuff I'm able to do now if you guys don't be able. To, if you guys don't um, sign. If you guys just don't sign. If you if you don't sign. You you won't be able to do fan you won't be able to do fan based parodies you won't be able to do um, fanfic DeviantArt itself will be gone DeviantArt itself will be gone you know and a bridge series they'll be gone too so you all need to do this while it's still while there's still time. Okay, this may be the last time, this may, if we fight this one last fight, maybe it will be all over. But until then, folks, who knows? But, but back to the topic on hand, because really, guys, you really need to sign those petitions. I'm not trying to rain them, I'm not trying to plow this in your head, but it's really important that you do. So, back to the point. Uh, back to the point. I guess I'll make this a cartoon ramble. I did another. I did one before, but uh, that was more about saying we're in cartoons. Um, you know, I freaking love. I freaking and don't get me wrong. I love you know back in back in the back in the three networks heyday, and I mean Nick Disney and freaking. Nick Disney and Cartoon Network, they knew, they knew, they had fun with it, now it's just like, eh, let's just be, let's 
let's just make money as much as we can. I'm not saying that every, I'm not saying that all of them are like, yeah, let's make money and let's not have, let's not have fun programming. But it really, it really shows with Disney. It really shows with Disney. Because, because, um, Disney just friggin' panders to the teens. And I've said that, I said that enough for this video. Nickelodeon tries to do the exact same thing, and there's only like a few cartoons on. I don't like Breadwinners, though. I mean, uh, come on, you're just trying to make a fanboy Chum Chum clone. And I've watched it. It's it's like, I don't know. It's like kind of like fanboy and Chum Chum. I'm like, come on. Sanjay and Craig is better than that. I like, I like Sanjay and Craig. You know? But I wish... You know, and, you know, Nicktoons used to be the place for all the old, you know, Nicktoons used to be the place for all the old, uh, freaking Nick and Nick cartoons, but, uh, you know, they had original programming, and they brought some of the old, they brought some of the recent cartoons that have been canceled on the Nicktoons, and that's cool and all, but I miss the old, I miss, I do miss the old, um, I do miss the old uh, Nickelodeon, and I don't even think they still do the 90s or all that. Maybe they still do, but um, I don't know if they still do it. You know? And, okay, last thing. Last thing. Because I've been talk, I've been brought, I've been just talking you guys' ear off about about cartoons, and I'm like, ah! I don't want to come off like some old man. Like some old man trying to grasp his youth gently. And, you know, but anyways. But let me finish. Um, let me, the last thing I gotta say. Um, kids. Kids today. Treasure your cartoons. Treasure them. Because you don't know how long you'll have them. You know, treasure your cartoons. See, what, see, when you're me, you go to Amazon. If you really want your cartoons that have DVD releases, you get those DVDs because they're not gonna be on like TV anymore. It's better to, it's better to get them on. It's better to get them on DVD anyway. Especially when you got a PlayStation Three that's a DVD player. But I digress. Just treasure your good cartoons, kids. You know. And I'm sorry you'll never get to see how Disney used to be. Or anything. And I would... And I would show you how, what that would be like. But... Freaking Disney is like... Uh, the, the freaking... Content I copy content I do me so fast it would be it'd be hard, but I I'm gonna try and figure out how to put bonkers on the, on my lineup so you guys can at least see it, you know. So see you guys later. This has been Bugsy signing off. I hope you enjoyed my little cartoon ramble. Um, so see you later. Bye, folks.